things that they don't teach you about your female anatomy that I'm going to show you all the pictures that you've seen, but actually what it looks like in real life. This is not for the squeamish. So if this is you, do not keep watching this. When I was at medical school, we were shown that this is what it looks like. And this is when we would do cadaveric anatomy classes. They don't do that anymore because it's all shown on models like this one. And we talk, we teach each other, well, this is what the gynecological system looks like. Look, it's so beautiful and it's all in its place and it looks perfect. When I actually know that's not the case because when I actually started doing surgery, when I did my gyne rotation, this down below is what we used to see a lot. So you will see that actually the uterus is attached to the ovaries through the ovarian ligament and the fallopian tubes that come off the uterus are actually not attached to the ovary. So this is the clever bit of the anatomy. So although we see all these pictures, the ovary is not connected to the fallopian tube because there are these tiny little fimbriae and they have hover around the ovaries and these little fimbriae have even little more fingers and little sort of signals that say to the egg, come hither, come hither, come hither. And then the egg goes down and into the uterus and the uterus is really close to your bladder. It's very close to the tubes that come off your kidneys, your ureters, and also where you pee from as well, your urethra. So if you have womb related conditions, you also have bladder related conditions and you passing wee or urine will be affected as well. And it's very close to your rectum as well. So your rectal tissue, your sigmoid colon, it's all affected. So conditions like endometriosis, where cells similar to the lining of the wombs go outside of the uterus. In fact, it is a whole all over body condition because it causes inflammation, not just in the pelvis. Endometriosis, we're now in understanding, affects you all. This is just another example of things that we have never been told about our body. I hope that was helpful.